I'm gonna show you how to make this amazing baked mac and cheese with a bacon breadcrumb topping. The best mac and cheese I've ever made. It is full of different textures and flavors and it is so cheesy and delicious. I'm gonna show you how to make it step by step. Let's get started. First, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and grease a baking dish. Next, grate 12 ounces of cheese. I use sharp cheddar. Place your cheese in a bowl and set it aside. In a medium-sized pot, bring salted water to a boil and cook 12 ounces of macaroni to package directions. Then drain and set aside. Now let's work on our cheese sauce. In a pot over medium heat, melt three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Then add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and cook for one to two minutes. Then gradually add a cup and a half of whole milk, about a half cup at a time. Once all of your milk is added and your sauce is smooth and thickened, add half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, one teaspoon dry mustard, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Whisk until smooth and turn off the heat. Then gradually add your cheese while whisking, about a half cup at a time. Once smooth, add your cooked pasta and fold until evenly coated. Then add one egg and consistently stir, then set aside. Let's work on our topping. In a frying pan over medium heat, cook four slices of chopped bacon. First, it will start to sizzle, then release its fat, and eventually it will turn brown and crispy. Then, with a slotted spoon, remove your bacon from pan and pour out 90% of the fat. Then add 2 thirds cup breadcrumbs and cook until completely dry. Then return the bacon and add about a teaspoon of fresh thyme lean. Stir until incorporated. Toss if you're feeling brave. Then remove and set aside in a bowl. This topping is so good. In your greased baking dish, layer half of your mac and cheese. Sprinkle with more cheese if desired and add a third of your breadcrumb mixture. Then add the remaining mac and cheese. And finish with more cheese and the rest of your breadcrumb mixture. Then bake at 375 for 12 to 15 minutes. Then remove from oven and let cool for 5 to 10 minutes before serving. Scoop a portion of mac and cheese onto a plate and enjoy. Okay, here's the finished mac and cheese. Let's give it a try. That is seriously so good. Since I layered the mac and cheese with the cheese, I still get some cheese pull. And that topping is really good. Definitely try this.